whatever the core of our lives, whatever the deceit, we live where we are and we seek nothing but ourselves. We are liars and we are murderers. We invent death for others, stop their posts publicly, stone possible lovers with heavy worlds we think are ideas and we know even before those shapes are realized that these worlds, these depths or heights we fly to smoothly is in a dream or slider when we stare dumbly into space, leaning our eyes just behind the last quick moving bird. Then sometimes that place and twist of what we are will push and sting and the crust of what our stance has become will ring in our ears and shatter the peace of our eyes that is never closed. An ignorance, a stupidity, a stupid longing not to know, which is automatically fulfilled, automatically triumphs, automatically makes us killers or foot dragging celebrities at the core of any filth. And it is a deadly filth that passes as whatever thing we feel too righteous to question. Too deeply felt to deny. I am much older than I look, or maybe I'm much younger. Whatever I am or seem. Let that settle, but figure still that you might not be right. Figure still that you might be lying to save yourself. Or my self image, which might set you crawling like a thirsty dog for the meanest of drying streams, the meanest of ideas. <laughs> ideas, yeah. Ideas, where they form, or whose they finally seem to be. Yours, the others, mine? No. No more, not mine. I did my slow apprenticeship, and maybe I came up lacking. Maybe. <laughs> but who's to say, really, huh? I mean, there are ideas in this world. They need judging. I mean, they don't come in that singular or wild just because they're beautiful and brilliant, just because they strike us in the center of our heart. God. He 
even this. Even if, believe me, even if just, just because they're right, doesn't mean anything. The very rottenness stinks a lot of times. The very rightness. 